Hello, Dr. Freedom. Uh, good evening, folks. Dr. Freedom here with you. Times from Dr. News. News from in around the universe that may or may not excite you to the point that you will literally jump for the joy, jump for joy, reach to the sky, and touch the moon's dental hairy parts. Okay. Um, all right. Let's start off with the most obvious, exciting stuff like there. All right. Moving on. Oh, here we go. Uh, yeah. Uh, we got Jody Whitaker spotted in Capaldi's clothes out, you know, for filming the other night. Um the funny part is if I can get that one part to move, I hate it when it does that. But I'll have to, I'll have to put up a copy of this photo somewhere for you, probably over on the Dr. Freedom page on Facebook. But it's just kind of weird seeing her in those massive boots, man. All right. And, of course, taking a couple of shots with fans the other day on this other set. And get ready for this because this resulted in this. The, the, I guess the person who was going to take this picture, I've seen the video of it, had no idea how to flip the camera around. And then Jody did it for him. So that's a nice, very close-up shot of Jody Whitaker there. All right, so let's get to the news because there's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of it. Uh, and you know, a lot of it's stuff we covered on the Omega Files, but don't worry, I'm going to throw it at you anyway in case you want to go look at it for yourself. All right. All right, so you may recognize some of these articles. All right, let's start with the top. Let's go over the bang, 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 bang. And if I can only find the button. Yeah, you know, here we go. Okay, here we go. Okay, survey reveals what, fa of all, what fans think of, you know, all new Doctor Who. 19,000 Radio Times readers shared their thoughts on the new costume TARDIS and the response was an overwhelmingly positive two hearts up. You hear that, you little naysayers? You're in the minority. And I hate to taunt you, but after weeks and weeks and weeks of people jumping in my face claiming oh, we're in the majority, blah, 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 I got to take a jab at you. You've earned it. All right. So, okay. Let, and once again, I'm sorry. I am stuck with ads because they now have it rigged on, on Radio Times where if you don't turn off your ad blocker, you're, you're basically stuck. Okay, they really, the, they really like the 13th Doctor's new costume. Guess what? 73% to 26%, 19,000 voters. They do include some comments, All right, and they are totally on board with the Mork and Mindy feel. <laughs> and the TARDIS, boom, boom, boom. Do you like the new Distress TARDIS Blue? 82%. And, of course, they're still deadlocked almost on the TARDIS sign. <laughs> and are you sad to see the St. John's logo go? So just some nifty stuff right there to show you that, yes, the haters are in the minority. And it's just amazing to me that you've got some folks out there walking around acting. You know, like I said, I've been watching this show for 34 years, and I'm still waiting to hear how you become a true fan. You know, like I said, was there a meeting? Was there a secret handshake I should know? You know, is it like the 27 pound 50 club? You know, what I don't get it. You know, how do you become a true fan? The one, the one term I can't stand, I've been saying in the media look at this little girl, she's a mega fan. She's like, how many years old? Because daddy bought her more toys than anybody else in the world regarding Doctor Who. To me, that doesn't make you any more a fan than any or less a fan than anybody else. If you like the show, you're a fan, period. You don't get, you know, special little star status unless you're, unless you're Shokasugi back in the 80s because he earned the title Super Ninja. He was. All right, moving on. New Doctor Who companion, Bradley Walsh, will be appearing on the one show, and this has already happened. As soon as I get some clips for you on this, I will have these up. It's just, like I said, I'm kind of doing this on the fly today because I've been busy. I'm hoping to have Chapter 2 of Comes the Imperator up by tomorrow morning. I'm, I'm really hoping we up. Also, look at this. Somebody posted a top that's very similar to Jody Whitaker's. I'll leave this link for you, but are you going to pay 28 bucks for a shirt? That is on you. All right. 
Okay, all the Doctor Who references. And, like, and as I said in the Omega Files, they came up with a whopping six. And it took three authors to come up with six references. Why can't we accept the fact that it's just something all new? You know, I'm as much a guy, you know, a stickler, you know, for the classics as anybody. But really, you know, you... <laughs> Also, given the fact that you you are going to see some resemblances, I think, to the Matt Smith look, because the Ray Holman designed the outfit, the same guy who did Matt Smith's wardrobe. So, you, I don't know. I want to quote the Eighth Doctor here. You know, you know, humans always seeing patterns and things that aren't there. That's just me. All right. And here's also an article. You know, by, you know Ray Holman talking to the Radio Times you know, about how he you know, dressed previous reincarnations and yada, 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 and goes into a bit of the fashion end of it, all right? Now, somebody actually had the nerve to try to accuse us on the Omega Files, by the way, of being sexist because we were talking about Jody Whitaker's clothes. And then I had to turn around and slam a link in his face about how we talked about Capaldi's. Got quiet really quick. All right. Fans are loving Jody Whitaker's new costume. And here are some tweets and blah, 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 and all that. Hang on, wait a minute. Did I just, wait a minute, hold it. What are you doing there? Oh, oh, okay, this is the one that includes the tweets. I'm sorry, I thought I messed up on you there. So this is the one that includes some tweets and whatnot if you want to read them. All right, moving on. Same crap, different article. That's how Radio Times get sometimes. All right, did you notice all the changes in the Whitaker TARDIS? Yes, there are a bunch. <coughs> Gas lamp. They've added the little fluting bits here on the bottom of the corners. Um, more space, blah, blah, blah. And, of course, the St. John's Ambulance Cross is gone. And they've basically the door is now open this way and that instead of that for the phone. Other than that, and I think to me this police box sign on the top here looks a bit smaller. But like I said, it's no biggie. The, the TARDIS has changed gosh knows how many times. Well, if you want to look at that just a little bit in case you want to, you know, see what a difference they picked out and there's artwork all over the place already man lots of it's lots of it good i thought that was kind of cute and all well some of it not so good but i'm not an art critic but i figured if you, if you want to go take a look at these there's like a billion and five bits of fan artwork running around and like i said some of it's pretty good all right Doctor releases, all right this <clears throat> i'm sorry i'm getting a catch in my throat my, the farmers are toiling up the fields and now it's going into my system, giving me kicking my allergies. That's right. The, these photos were taken during the Christmas special filming, which, by the way, let me say this again, wrapped on July 10th. There's nothing more being shot for the Christmas special. I don't know how that Matt Smith rumor got started, but there's been no sign of him anywhere near Rothlock during the time of the filming. But, oh, that's right. How am I supposed to know that? Does he have a special – he's a celebrity jackass. If he'd shown up in Cardiff, everyone and their grandmother would have been jumping for joy. Ugh. Sorry, it's just some of these questions and some of these things I get hit at a billion times over. I, I, I do have, I, see, you know, I, I, I try to exercise a wee bit of patience if that's just me. You know. All right, moving on. Okay. Jonathan Creek creator David Renwick turned down an offer to write for Doctor Who. Okay, so... Speaking exclusively to Digital Spy, the outgoing showrunner, you know, blah, blah, revealed a big name he approached to pen an episode, and yes, he turned him down. So if you're curious as to why, boom, right here on Digital Spy. Okay, so Dr. Stephen Moffat says it's absolutely right and proper to scare children. And we'll leave you with that. Okay. All right. BBC Radio. Um, Paul Hayes speaks to writer John Dorney about why David, why David Tennant and Billy Piper are saving Norwich from the alien Zeros, and he's talking about the upcoming Doctor Who, Tenth Doctor Adventures, Volume 2, coming out from Big Finish. So if you're into that, wham. Okay. Doctor Who book, The Missy Chronicles, by the way, coming out in February, February 22nd. So if you got your eyes out for that, please, ooh, it sounds like it's going to be good. So... Missy Chronicles, bam, bam, bam. Okay, so that's all I had for you today. Now, I got the green screen set up. Do you think I should do something with it? I was going to do a video later just for shits and giggles. But, you know, I don't know. Should I add something to the news broadcast? Oh, no. Oh, well, I got to get it going, folks. Um, like I said, this video is already running long. And I know how full some folks are. You know, remember, 
bring back Ace, damn it. All right. I'm getting out of here. Take care, Tata. Enjoy the rest of your night.